Hello, everyone. I'm Dondi with FloraCraft, and we are here today to show you this wonderful Easter decor project, floral mushrooms. So we have Tony on chat. She will take care of any questions that you have or have me answer them for you. Um, and I guess if there's nothing else, Tony will put the links in the chat. So if you do make your project today and want to take a picture of it and share it with us, we'd love to see it. Well, let's get started. So if we want to go overhead, I'll show you the materials I found at Michael's to make this project. So I started out with a base. This is our one by six by 12 uh, craft foam sheet. And then a few sizes of balls you'll need. You'll need a three inch ball, a two inch ball, and then a few uh, one and a half inch balls. And this is what we're gonna turn into little eggs later. So that's the foam. And then the flowers to cover the mushrooms. I just found these two little uh, Easter bouquet as I guess mixed bouquets so they have all these little tiny little um, blossoms and if you don't find these exact bouquets that's fine you just need um, flower heads that are about you know inch half inch to an inch in diameter And then to cover the bottom, the moss that I used on the project is this reindeer moss, the preserved reindeer moss. But you can use any moss. You could use this green moss. You can use sheet moss. You could even use Spanish moss on here. Whatever you want to cover it with. And then the little trim around the base. I just found this cute. It's kind of like a like a braided jute almost, um, three quarter inch by three yard jute, jute and cotton, I guess it is. And then to cover the mushroom stems, this is, um, this is white floral tape. You'll find it back in the um, floral accessories. And um, it's just a, it's a waxed, like a paper tape. And when you stretch it, it, sticks to itself. So this is what we're going to use to make that nice white um, base to your mushroom or stem to your mushrooms. And then just some paint. And this is just for doing the little eggs. So any color that coordinates with your flowers is fine. I just got like a pinky color, a purple, a white, and then a light blue. <clears throat> All right, some tools we're gonna use. You'll need some scissors, maybe a ruler, some kind of saw, um, hand saw, serrated knife, steak knife, anything with some teeth on it to cut our foam. And then maybe a marker to draw out your, um, your egg shape for your, for your base. I'll show you this way. So it's just shaped like an egg. And then some toothpicks to attach your tops of your mushrooms to your stems. And then I just grabbed a little um, piece of paper so you can have something to paint on. And then just a selection of some small paint brushes to do your eggs. And then the glue gun we're using today, this is a CraftSmart and it's a low temp. Um, just be sure to use low temp with the foam. The high temp guns a lot of times get so hot that they, they'll melt the foam. So just be sure to use a low temp gun with our foam. All right. <clears throat> so I guess we will use a ruler. I'm gonna have you cut seven inches off one end of this. So just make a couple marks. <clears throat> Oops. Um, 
and just use a sawing motion. And then the seven inch side, we're gonna reserve for the, for the base and we'll cut that out next. So <clears throat> for the stems, just pretty much freehand them. So if I can get one of these, oh, I did glue them in. So the first one, I just kind of made like a arch. And then maybe the other side comes in and then maybe gets a little chunky at the bottom. So you're just kind of roughing in your little mushroom bases. So you make them a little fatter at the bottom. There's no wrong way. And once you have them kind of maybe how you're gonna get that shape cut out. And then you have to remember that the class is being recorded. So you get behind or need to see something again. Michael will have it up usually 24 to 48 hours. <clears throat> All right, so you have your rough shapes. Now you can use the table. That's going to be a little long. Use the table and roll the foam on those cut edges. And you can use your fingers, you can kind of push along the edges. And all we're trying to do is make this a rounded shape. So the more, see, the more you push into it, it gets a nice rounded edge. Weave it round. Okay. That top off. So that's kind of a little mushroom stem. And then this little guy, same thing. We're just going to use your fingers and just start molding it so it gets rounded and to a cute little. Mushroom stem. All right, so there's that part. Not too bad. Do I need to repeat anything? Is everybody doing so good, good so far? We're quiet on the chat. So if oh, anyone right. has questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat box and we can answer them. So here's your base and you're just going to make an egg shape and we can fine tune it. I mean, you don't have to be a, I'm not a drawer, so it's not going to look like an egg probably right at the beginning. That's okay. We're going to carve it into one. Sort of, sort of an egg shape. See, we'll cut it out. And don't worry about how it looks when you first cut it out because we're going to help it along. I like looking at that dark. So you get your basic shape. Now you're just gonna roll, roll those edges on the table till it resembles an egg. Sort of an egg. And, and you don't have to make an egg. You could make it a round. You could make it just a plain oval. You can leave it square. 
heart shape, whatever you want. All right. So for the tops of the mushroom, you're going to take your three inch ball for the larger mushroom and just cut it right in half. Your, if your cut is a little bit crooked to straighten it out and make it smooth, you just rub those two pieces together and it flattens them right out. It makes it really nice. All right, for our small one, and then you can make another mushroom someday. So we'll set that one aside. This is your small mushroom. And we'll do the eggs later. All right. Now, we don't need wire cutters for this because we're only, we're only using the blossoms. So we're not actually sticking any wire. A lot of these don't have wires in them anyway. So we're just popping these flowers right off the ends of the stem. And what I did is I started out with these pink ones. I pulled all the pink ones off first because there's not as many of them. And I wanted to make sure that they were evenly spaced around my mushrooms. So I'm gonna put those in first. And then to make sure that I have enough for the little one, I started with the little one first and I just did three on that one. Now they're gonna stay in if you just push them in, but you wanna, when you, when you get it in like that, you're gonna take your finger, put it right in the middle of the flower blossom and push it in even deeper. So it brings it into the surface of the foam so it's not sticking out too far. And then pull it back out, add a little glue. Maybe. My glue gun's not happy. There it goes. Add a little glue and then stick it back in. And that'll make sure that it holds in there really nice. So again, you just push it in, take your finger, push it in all the way. Pull it back out and add a little glue. We're just gonna put three pink ones on this one. And you'll feel it when you put your finger in the middle and push the blossom in, you'll feel it go in like another quarter inch. And that just keeps it nice and so it's um, symmetrical. And I don't know that I'm gonna glue everyone because I don't wanna be running out of time at, for class. So. And these I just evenly spaced around this larger ball. That looks about right. This one, I got an extra one. <laughs> there, just so they're evenly spaced around there. And then grab another color. Let's say the white ones. We'll do white next. And these, the petals are quite a bit longer. So what I did is I put them all on there and then went back with my scissors and trimmed them. Let's see how they stick out a lot further than the pink. So I just took my scissors and trimmed those back. So they at the same level. Oh, 
few more. Any questions so far? Are people making along or are they watching? I do have a question. Can you carve all foams into different shapes? Dry foam, XPS um, foam. Sure. Um, it, they're just they're just different. Um, like our dry foam is going to be it's going to be a lot softer. Um, it's not going to it's not going to I don't even know how to answer that. You stumped me. <laughs> but yes, they're all carvable. All right, there's a few white on that one. Do a few white on this little one. We could share what's special about XPS foam from Floral Craft if we have anyone new to our craft foam or floral foam. You were you talking to me? What were you saying? Our XPS foam is very special because we now make our foam with recycled materials. All right, what do we want to try next? Let's try yellow. Get a few yellow in there. We're just going to keep on adding these until they're full, as full as you want them. All right, Dondi, so you know that at Floracraft, we like to make it fun. So yes. we're here with a joke Absolutely. of the day. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, it's mushroom related. So we're on trend with our project. Okay. How does a mushroom clean her house? How does a mushroom clean her house? You got me, Emma. A mushroom. Of course, a mushroom. So there you have it. Joke of the day. You guys have to repeat that one though. All right, let's try. Now these little blue guys don't really have a, they don't really have a stem. So I was just kind of gluing them in, gluing them kind of over top. They don't really have, they have that little tiny green thing, but I guess that's fine. But we'll just add a little glue and it's just to get that color in there. And just glue it in. Cut another one of those off, a couple of those little blue ones. And these things, I mean, these mushrooms could be covered with so many things, you guys. You guys thinking and thinking of anything else that you could cover them with? Like like glitter, like buttons, like felt, fabric, all kinds of things you could cover them with. Or you could just paint them. I know everybody's um, talking about the Mario movie. So how about some Mario mushrooms? Or I've done them with just moss. I'll do the little mushroom and then cover the top with different colored mosses. Looks really cute. All 
everyone's so quiet. Is my Luddington girl watching today? I can't remember her name. Joe. Is it Joe? I want to say Joanne. No, Joanne. Where are people calling from today? Didn't ask that. Any place warm? It is quiet. <laughs> it has, it's, a, it's a quiet chat box today. <laughs> I did ask at the beginning of class. We love to hear where people are joining us from. You guys have to be tired of me talking by now. All right. All right. Now see how that's kind of a little lumpy bumpy. So if you just take your scissors and trim all that little white petals off and it gives you a little better shape to your mushroom. It's not so crazy. People responding, we have people joining from New York City and Mississippi. They say it's warm in New York right now. We're at 41 over here. We we could take some more heat. <laughs> yep. For sure. Spring's coming. It's like I have a few holes here. I'm gonna fill in. And then too, once you trim it, you can kind of see where your holes are, where you need to fill in a little more. Making confetti. It's going everywhere. Just give it a little haircut. There. Looks like I could put a couple more colors in there. And then there's these little baby plastic purple ones too that might, I don't think I put those in yet. But those you just glue in afterwards. Just a little pop of color here and there. Just leave a little bit of a stem so you got something to glue into with. And just here and there, just have that little pop of purple. That I love about our foam, Donnie, is when we do these mushrooms, if you really want a lazy project, you could get spray paint and the cells of the foam actually make it look almost glittery when you get the chrome spray paint. Yeah. And they look really cool. Easy project. Yep. And then when you just be sure that when you do use spray paint with our foam, there is kind of a trick. Um, first, you don't want to hold the can too close to the foam because the propellants in the can are what uh, are what melt the foam. So if you hold that can back like 12 to 14 inches from the surface of the foam, and then you do super light coats and you let each coat dry before you apply the next, you'll get a nice coverage and you won't melt the foam. 
How's everyone doing on their mushrooms? I wish I could see them. I know one gal did that for us. Remember, she highlighted the people that wanted to show their wreath and we got to see everybody's wreaths in the class. It was really neat. Looks like I'm almost full here. Well, how everyone else is doing. Am I going too fast? I don't think so. Maybe we just are quiet in the chat because everyone is following along and doing what you're doing. Well, good. Put a few purple ones in this little one. Has anybody out there carved any foam before? Is this their first stab at it? Have any foam crafters out there? I'm looking forward to our class in April where we will be doing more foam carving. That class is available on michaels.com now. If you go to classes, get registered for that. That will be a really fun floral and foam carving class as well. Yeah. We'll show you a sneak peek of it at the end of the show. show. End of the class. <laughs> I would rather be watching. Maybe that's why I called it a show. All right. I think I've put as many flowers as I'm going to get in here. There's a couple more little spots, but we can fill those in after we get them put together. Oh, I've got yuckies all over me from that black marker. <laughs> all right, Let's clean up this mess. And then save those little bushes because we're going to use some of the grasses and things for the, um, to decorate the base. All right. Before we add the mushrooms to the base, I'm gonna put the, we're gonna put the moss on first. And I only do that because if you put the mushrooms on the base first and then add the mushrooms or add the moss, the moss covers up the stems. We're gonna do the moss first. And then we'll add the add the mushrooms and we'll poke them in so they're set on top of the moss. And all I do is just a tiny bit of glue. You can put it right on the moss or you can put it on the foam and add the moss. However you want to do it, we're just filling in, covering this base. And just get it as close to the edge as you can. You can trim it with your scissors when you're done. If you get it over the edge too much. And this is reindeer moss. They have tons of colors of it. Um, light green, dark green. I even saw it uh, some like a light blue and like a, I think it even comes in like almost a white. There's several colors of it. I've seen it in purple too. I don't 
know what all colors Michaels has, but quite a few. Good selection of moths. I'm just going to keep filling in our little mushroom forest floor. What are some things that people decorate for Easter? Your wreaths on the doors. Do you do little decor like this so you can put it around the house on your end tables? And Ooh, that reminds me. I think if you go on Michael's YouTube channel and type in Floricraft, we actually did a moss wreath last spring that is still one of my favorite projects oh mm, yeah with the same moss yes you should go find that video that's a fun wreath project it is the um chicken wire all right so there's your base your little forest floor oh, let's put some mushrooms together here We have your little stems. Now you're gonna not use your tape like you would traditionally in the floral setting, but we're gonna use it just as a wrap only because I just like the color of it and the texture of it. It just looks like a mushroom stem, even kind of feels like it. So all I did was start the end with a little piece of glue and then start wrapping. And then just slightly overlap each wrap as you go. And what's nice about this tape is you can stretch it so that it lays really nice on the, around the corners. And just keep stretching it. And so you get it covered. And when you get to the top, you just tear it off, add a little glue. There. So there's one. And there's your second one. And a little glue. And start wrapping. Such fun things at Michael's right now. I found so many cute things in their spring stuff. I like how you can walk from aisle to aisle and like your whole, the whole world changes. It's all those collections that they have are so fun. I'd have to redecorate my house like every other week <laughs> to make it all happen. <laughs> I was just wrapping it and wrapping it. And you guys, you can use anything. You could, um, I think crepe paper would, would be an option if you can't find this tape. Um, some kind of ribbon maybe. Um, you could even paint them, paint the stems with like an acrylic paint. Um, like a napkin decoupage, get like a white, 
soft napkin, um, matte napkin that would look like a mushroom stem and tear that into strips and wrap that around there. There's lots of things you could use on it if you can't find that tape. All right, and then we're gonna put toothpicks in the tops of these stems and that's how we're gonna add the tops. So a little bit of glue and shove it right down in the middle. And leave just enough to pop that top on there. Try not to drop it. All right. So we'll just add a little glue to the toothpick and to the top of the stem and insert this top on there. Just like that. And you don't have to cover the bottom. Um, you could, you could use the tape or whatever you use on the stem, you could you could cover the bottom of the of the mushroom if you want. Oops. And just make sure your little lid's on straight. That works. And then to insert them into the base, we're gonna glue another toothpick and for the bottom of the stems and leave about eh, an inch and a half because you want it to maybe an inch and three quarter just so that it sits right up on top of that moss. So you don't hide any of that stem that you took so long to carve out. All right, and then you can add a little glue, maybe not until you're totally done because you might want to move them around a little bit. I just put one a little lower and I'm trying to add one end there. And then let me show you what I did with these guys. So these are the little eggs. Well, they're gonna be. So it's, all I did was just take it and just roll it on the table first. So you get like a cylinderish look and then kind of roll it towards one, towards the top and give it a spin. And that's gonna taper the top of your egg a little bit. So you'll get a kind of a shape like that. And then roll. Just keep rolling until you get a shape that you like. You can use your fingers to manipulate it into a egg. Just like that. And then it's a sort of an egg. Kind of an egg shape, right? So again, you just roll it so you get like a cylinder and then whatever side you want the top of your egg, just tip it and roll it again. So you're tapering the top of your egg. This would also be a really good idea if you didn't want to dye regular eggs for Easter. You could just go buy some foam balls and customize them and have less mess. Yep. And you can use them every year. You could make little garlands out of these little eggs. Make string a bunch of them on, make a cute little garland. Oh, roll it, roll it until you get an egg shape. That's fun.
All right. And before we start painting those eggs, I forgot we do have this and this. I just glued one end to the back of the egg. And wrap it around. And go through it again where you stop. And then you might want to go back in and fill in with a little bit of that moss around the edge, or you could add a piece of twine around there, either way. So I don't know how much time we're going to have for painting these eggs, but I will show you how I paint. I feel like it's easier. So I just took a toothpick, poke it into the bottom of your egg, take your paint, I pour it right on the egg, take my brush and move it around. Because it takes quite a bit of paint, paint foam because it's all those little open cells that you're having to push paint into. So this just works good for me. But that's all we do. I just painted them all a base color of white. And then I went back in with the smaller detail brushes and just made some fun little stripes and polka dots and however you guys want to decorate the little eggs. And of course, you gotta let this white dry before you add your top colors. Um, Another thing that I do that's really easy is pour a little paint in the lid and use your paintbrush handle as a dot maker. And you can do bigger dots, smaller dots. But that's all I did for the dots. I just used my paintbrush handle. All right, what's our time, Tony? Okay, so you guys see that that's what I did to paint the eggs. Well, we're not going to finish that right now. But I do want to show you. They have all these other little gadgets or pieces and on these on these bouquets. And they work really good for decorating your forest floor. So add a little glue and just poke them right into the moss and they'll stand right up in there. Well, maybe. And these little grasses, I think I cut some of these apart and used them like individual little blades of grass here and there coming out. Can we switch to a front facing view? There you go. Can you see the You're good. project? Okay. Yep, and then just keep on gluing in these little guys, just little, little 
grasses and flowers poking out of your forest floor here. That work? Nope. I'll glue in some little purple flowers. I found some this really long um, grass that's in there. And glue in some of that. Making your own little environment here. A little purple over there. So you guys get the gist of it, right? Is there anything you want me to repeat? Show you again. Maybe. No. Everybody's good. Yep, and then I just took and added in the little, these little guys, I just put on a little pick so that they would hold in place without falling out. And that's about it. We have a little bit of time. If you guys want, I can show you a better look. I can show you um, next April's project, but that's a up close. All right. So this is April, right? So April 19th, this is another carving, foam carving project. So we create the template, a paper template, and um, cut your whichever word you want out of foam and paint it up and glitter it and add some flowers. So this is, this is April's project. And of course you can do any word. We like to shine. All right, I think we about, we about tackled that project. If there's no other questions. Nope. Hopefully we'll see everyone back April 19th for our next class. Don't forget to share. Thanks for making it fun at Floorcraft.